What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. And today I'm going to talk about three ways to sexualize your text messaging, okay? To direct things in a sexual manner over text so that it can lead to sexting, okay? And so that you frame sex on the table so that when you meet up, that's already out of the way, okay? Um, I just want to point out the sale I was running all week. Uh, that is ending tomorrow. Okay, a bunch of you uh, were emailing me. They wanted it to go through Friday because people get paid on Friday. It's extremely cheap. I think I vastly underpriced it. I have it running for 87% off. Okay, I, was, I should have probably done half off or some shit like that. But a lot of you email me all the time and you're like, oh, I don't even have $100 to, you know, spare money, et cetera, et cetera. So the standard basic version of the Leads Machine product is $67. The link here is at the bottom. You can go on the site, check out what that offers. Okay, in the videos this week, I've been breaking down exactly what's covered in the course, going over testimonials for it, um, explaining the importance of it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, talking about how all the objections, it's basically a copy paste solution. Okay, and a bunch of people have been emailing me asking if it's just text messaging, like copy paste exactly what to text in every situation, or does it include the like online game app message sequences as well. Yes, it includes the online game message sequences as well. So you get a message on Tinder or you want a message to go on Seeking Arrangement or on OkCupid or whatever. It gives you from start to finish all the way from any lead from online, from night game or from day game, all the way to setting up the date, what to do when she stops replying, what to do when she flakes, what to do when she um, gives a legitimate reason to cancel what to do for any single objection, what to do for all the situations in the online or uh, the online app or online game site messaging, okay? Every single piece from the start to the finish. What do you text and when do you text it, okay? So all the guesswork is fully eliminated. That deal um, expires tomorrow. So check out the link in the description or at the bottom here. You can type it in manually into your browser. And... That is the that is the deal. Um, okay, so the, the three things you can do to sexualize. Number one, one of my most favorites, okay, this works especially well for online game leads. Okay, so what you do is, say you magic go on Tinder, say you move her to text, okay? I go over in the product how to move it to text, but let's assume you have her on text message now, you've never met before. You can say, hey, it's John from Tinder, on text message is your opening line. It looks like you have a naughty side comma, am I right, with like the smirk face, okay, which is basically indirectly asking, are you DTF, are you down to fuck, if she says yes, right, you looks like you have a naughty side, am I right, smirk face, if she says yes, or she says maybe, or you're going to have to find out, anything in the positive, affirmative direction, you're going to say, I type, mm, like MMM, comma, what kind of naughty stuff do you like, wink face, and that's usually going to segue into sexting, Okay, you've teed it up by saying, allowing her to, you know, open the door and, and come along for the ride, so to speak, in this sexual frame, okay? Just like when I set up a date with a girl, I said, do you like margaritas? Do you like coffee? Yes? Cool. Let's meet for margaritas. Cool. Let's meet for coffee. You're like teeing up a compliance, uh, a yes, so you get another yes, okay? It's called compliance momentum. So it's central to a lot of the pieces of my game all throughout, okay? So... Um, looks like you have a naughty side, am I right? Yes, maybe, you'll find out. Mm, what kind of naughty stuff do you like? Okay, and then she'll say, I like such and such. From banging over a thousand girls and from talking to lots of other guys that are successful with chicks, um, I've found that probably 80 to 90% of girls that I've met, their fair position is doggy style, and they like their ass spanked and their hair pulled. So once you get into sexting, like, oh, that's not, say, say she's like, oh, I like such and such. Cool, do you also like doggy style with your hair spanked and your ass pulled? And then this leads into sending a dick pic, okay? You never want to just send a dick pic out of the blue. That'll blow you out some of the times. You want to ask permission first. The way you do that is you say, after she says a couple things she likes sexually, right? Like, do you like your hair pulled and your ass spanked while you're getting fucked doggy style? Yes, I do. And then I say, mm, you're making me horny or you're making me really hard right now. Do you want to see it? Okay, that's how I always say, before I send a dick pic, do you want to see it with the sexual smirk icon? Okay, 
she'll say yes or maybe or you say if she says no or she's not sure be like well, don't you want to see what you'd be working with right aren't you curious about what you're working with or you can the way you lower the compliance threshold here is you say um well give me your professional opinion on it. i'm curious what you think of what you'd be working with give me your professional opinion just your professional opinion ha 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 um but sometimes they hard insist i want to wait till per to, to see it in person or they say i don't like guys sending dick pics or blah 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 okay and then you should have a good dick pic that hot girls have vetted out to be very good looking okay you should take a variety of dick pics and i have, i've since hidden this this video i had a, a video called dick pics 101 just a quick little update on what i've done recently i had to hide all my fucking infields okay because you have this bbc documentary where some cocksucker fucked up okay got smeared in the news here we are again the industry's under fire RSD went running with their tail between their legs, removed all the RSD stuff <laughs> from their from their names. Uh, RSD Nation is fully down, not just the forums anymore. RSD Nation is fully down. Street Attraction, Bradicus, um, a couple other channels have been deleted. Okay, so I've privated all my infields. I still have over seventy infields in my in my Occam's Razor product. If you're interested in infield, um, and I've I've RSD actually filed a fucking copyright. I got my first copyright strike of my channel's life uh, from my Julian parody. Okay, and that video got removed because RSD is trying to like have a clean image all the way across YouTube. So I also removed my other fucking RSD videos where I have clips. I'm gonna appeal the one with Julian because it is under fair use and Creative Commons and blah blah blah, showing clips from their their videos where Tyler's, you know excessively pretending to be gay anyways my dick pics video has been privated and some of the other ones that are over the top so to speak you know because we got to be pc in our nice little feminist world here um uh yeah poor guys like fucking bradicus all that time and effort into creating content and editing it and all that shit he was doing all that editing himself nuked not even a warning. Good job, YouTube. Probably because some fuckhead journalist emailed and bitched about the channel. Just like Alex from Playing With Fire's whole group was nuked on Facebook. 7,000 member group. Tons of value posts, etc., etc. Gone. Um, okay, but what you want to do is have a good dick pic that's been vetted out by hot girls. And that's going to be your go-to dick pic that you send. Just like you should have a vetted out picture on Tinder as your main picture that's been approved to be very attractive, preferably above an 8.5, even more preferably above a 9 plus um, by hot girls. Okay, and what if you don't have a nice dick or what if you are not attractive? You can use Face App. Okay, it's a it's an app you can download. The Hollywood filter um, will uh, make you very aesthetically attractive or you can have someone Photoshop your picture so you look very aesthetically attractive and you still look close enough to, to how you really look, okay? With dick pics, lighting, and fucking if it's rock hard, like first thing in the morning, lighting and angle and stuff, you can still make it look good, okay? So no excuse. The other two ways to sexualize, you can tell the girl, I had the craziest dream last night. She's like, what is it? We had really crazy sex. It was so fucking hot, et cetera, et cetera. You're not to blame. It was the dream. It's not your fault. Okay, that's method two. Number three, you can... Say something very direct, but you can soften it, okay? And you can make it not seem as creepy or weird by saying, basically, not, you could text her, so totally random, haha, -ha, not to sound like a pervert, but I'm super horny right now, okay? You're not just like, oh, I'm, you know, I feel like watching porn or, or something that's pathetic. You just say, you soften it, not to sound like a pervert, but I'm super horny right now, smirk face, smirk face. And if she responds positively, like, oh yeah, wink face. Be like, yeah, I'm super hard. Want to come? I want to see it. And that goes into the same bullshit where you're sending the dick pic and then you're going into sexting. The advantage of sexualizing in advance is it's a done deal, right? You can still even do a public date. You, it's easier to invite her straight to the house, but if, if, you, if you're doing like a public date because she wants to be in public first, now all that shit's out of the way. Now you just have to set up to go back to your house after. And I don't sexualize every time. The problem with sexualizing is, first of all, it's going to... Well, the good part is it's going to screen out any girl that's prude, okay? And any girl that's DTF is going to now be receptive and it's like out of the way. But those middle 
gray area girls, the, the, the con, the downside, the negative to sexualizing is you could blow out or scare off some of those middle ground girls that otherwise would have banged, but you sexualized and now there's all this pressure and sexual expectation and she might even get the anti-slut defense and it's like a, another mathematical equation. I look at all this like very algorithmically. If you sexualize too much to a girl that's not super DTF and you have you haven't invest she hasn't invested enough yet, and then her anti slut defense outweighs the amount of investment plus DTF level, then that could cause her to not meet up. Okay, it's easier for her to just block you or whatever else. Okay, so keep those things in mind. Uh, use those strategies again. A reminder: the sale here. And in the, in the Leads Machine uh, product, I give you every single text I use. You'll have an optimum. You'll never have to worry about what to text, when to text it, what to do in any situation. All the guesswork's removed, and you have my optimal set of texts Okay, for a very, very cheap price. It took me 10 years to evolve and optimize. It's literally the exact same text I'm currently using after banging over 1,000 chicks. Okay, If you have any questions, email me at John Anthony Lifestyle. We are in the final couple days of the sale, so do not miss out because I'm just going back up to 700 bucks. Okay, thank you guys, and Julian video, Julian video coming soon, I promise. Okay, take care.